really just constantly thinking about ending my life you know you've got all the money in the world you've never even imagined that you would have and you're traveling the world you're playing you're pursuing your passion and still you're feeling like there's nothing more to life i this this uh, there's nothing to look forward to it is absolutely okay to not be okay it's okay to not feel okay it's a very normal thing it's a very natural thing and it's important to talk about all of these things and honestly i thought i'll restart in some corner of the world you know uh, working in a mcdonalds and starting from scratch again and then after i spoke to my counselor again i slowly started getting myself out of my way then i realized then it was with her that i realized i was going through clinical depression for the last year or two years I don't think it 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 matters where you're from or what you do or uh, honestly how much money you're earning because when I was when I was going through that I was the second highest paid IPL player uh, in that in that period of time um uh, you know so you kind of uh, think that you know okay these relation this uh, um depression comes through say for instance you know because of lack of money or you know not being able to achieve your goals or something of that sort but anything can trigger it can, it can happen to absolutely anybody i realized uh, realized it i think in 2009 that i was there's something wrong with me uh because uh, in 2008 i played for mumbai indians and then i was just transferred to the rcb i was very conflicted because the trade happened very very close to the tournament i think 3 weeks before or 4 weeks before the tournament and suddenly you're preparing the whole year thinking okay this is what you want to do and i was thinking okay this is how i want to perform for mumbai indians i want to i want to win a few games and you know probably possibly win a championship and suddenly you're thrown into a trade a trade a situation where you know you're going to go to another team even though i'm coming back home my loyalty wasn't here i was very conflicted and i think that kind of was the uh, you know the the is the 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 hay that broke the camel's back so to speak for me um and i uh, you know uh, just was so conflicted and i realized that something's not right because i was just constantly depressed i was not okay i would catch myself sitting on the window sill of 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 my of my room on the 21st floor with, with my legs dangling out uh, of of the this one and just sitting there thinking what should i do with my life because you know those are the kind of things that you experience you know you feel completely hopeless uh, a very clo- very dear family friend and my mom caught the fact that i was not okay and that's when they suggested that i should go to a counselor and uh, you know literally uh, i didn't even know what i was going to speak to the counselor to be very honest and like what am i going to tell her and the way i was able to open up to her the way i was as was able to figure out Uh, and understand why i reach that place in my life when you are feeling so lost and hopeless in life when someone helps you empower yourself you feel life again in you and uh, it's a very beautiful feeling you know when you feel like oh yeah i i've got that strength to to figure this out you have to finish the course if you don't then you're 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 uh, doing a disservice to yourself and i i learned that very experientially so i took my foot off the pedal didn't go to the counselor as such because i thought i was fine um but then it kicked in again and kicked in again in 2011 and i spent that whole year um really just constantly thinking about ending my life and how i wanted to end it and you and you think about you know what as in you think about different things you think about family you think about you know how hopeless your life is and how you'll be letting them down but how you're also doing them a favor all of these things kind of cross through your mind and then is when you feel like okay now what's the next be- what's what, what do you do next and then you feel like okay i think the, the best thing for me to do under these circumstances is to finish it all end it all um and that's where i think we're very wrong i was very fortunate that when i even considered it when my i don't know my balcony be door being open and saying okay i'm sitting at the edge of my bed and saying okay at 3 i'm just going to walk and just jump off uh, and when you go through that experience and something held me back and it was at the end of 2011 and i found different escapes to be very honest uh, i found this different escapes in the form of uh, faith in the form of uh, i would eat a lot uh, eating was a massive solace for me uh, i think as indians we're very emotional beings and i think food is a very emotional um concept for us so for me uh, i would uh, eat a lot of food just to say i don't know say she something that was insatiable within me you know and um, 
and got to a point where I was able to speak to my my best friend, uh, who happens to be my wife today. Uh, and I spoke to her about uh, about you know what I was feeling, and I, I just came. I think I, I moved to an, uh, to a place uh, where I felt like I have two options in life: either end it all, or get out of where I am, uh, uproot myself, go to some corner of the world, and restart. And honestly, I thought I'll restart in some corner of the world, you know, uh, working in a McDonald's and starting from scratch again. Um, and then she helped me uh, say, you know, you know, I think you should uh, do slightly different things right now. Why don't you talk to someone about it? And then I reached out to my counselor again. And then after I spoke to my counselor again, I slowly started getting myself out of my way. And I realized then it was with her that I realized I was going through clinical depression for the last year or two years. Uh, once I went back to the counselor, I made sure that this time I stayed the course. Uh, I had to go uh, go through medication for a for a couple for a for a couple of years. Honestly, so happy that I was able to move from a place of complete hopelessness to being completely hopeful and positive and gung ho about life. Uh, and I think uh, the fact that I did what I did in, in those days, in those years, uh, is what helped me. And I think my counselor, I think, is, uh, I consider personally as a guardian angel uh, who came in, in, and, uh, you know, uh, empowered me uh, to, to overcome what I was going through at that point in time, which felt completely hopeless.